Greetings everyone and welcome back to another one of my astrology videos. This is Sean and today I'm going to discuss the placement of Pluto in Sagittarius, which last occurred between 1995 and 2008. Known as Generation Z, this cohort is just coming into the world with fresh ideas for the betterment of society. They have an insatiable zest for freedom, knowledge and truth seeking. And they're not afraid to question the establishment, to expose the lies and deception of our governments and world leaders. Some of them are still in high school, while others are about to have their first Saturn return. But all Pluto and Sagittarius natives have the same things in common. They are free-spirited souls who live life to the fullest and are lifelong learners of cultures, philosophy, and spirituality. How can we better understand Pluto in Sagittarius energy? Well, we need to decipher the symbolic meanings of both Pluto and Sagittarius. In astrology, Pluto is the planet of death, destruction, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, transformation, repression, secrets, hidden depths, rebellion, esoteric knowledge, and the occult. It is personified by plutocrats, war, terrorism, nuclear weapons, atomic energy, totalitarianism, and massive social upheaval. The zodiac sign of Sagittarius, on the other hand, represents expansiveness, philosophy, higher learning, trailblazing, exploration, life in foreign lands and cultures, as well as questioning the establishment. So, when these two entities are intertwined, we have a generation of people who carry all the aforementioned traits of Sagittarius, but in a very black and white way. Wherever Pluto in a natal chart is placed, zodiac sign characteristics become extreme. Therefore, Pluto in Sagittarius natives are bold enough to seek deeper philosophical meanings of life, no matter how much they're criticized by others. In my opinion, they're the extreme travelers. They are natural-born urban explorers, brave enough to uncover creepy abandoned places few others would dare to go. Pluto and Sagittarius natives are among the first to openly question anything they read in a book or through social media. However, Pluto and Sagittarius natives are quite friendly and humanitarian as they respect any foreigners they meet and admire many diverse cultural influences. And as well, they're highly optimistic and they possess a great deal of confidence and their outlook and beliefs attract good fortune into their lives. It's important to note that it takes Pluto roughly 248 years to complete one full orbit around the sun, often spending many years or decades in each particular zodiac sign. Therefore, its effects are generational, affecting not only an individual, but millions of other people. So, in the last Pluto in Sagittarius transit between 1995 and 2008, there seemed to be a rosy, optimistic outlook on life among many. The US economy was booming, communism had fallen, and the internet went mainstream. Especially with Uranus transiting through Aquarius, between 1995 and 2003, it seemed as if a new age of humanitarianism and global unity had arrived. Personally, the late 90s were perhaps the happiest times of my life as I had graduated from high school and community college. I was beginning to explore the wider world, much like the Archer. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Corporations and governments enjoyed so much growth and prosperity that eventually they went bust. The Great Recession of 2008 marked the beginning of the Pluto and Capricorn period and the end of an era of expansion. Let me highlight some major historical events that took place while Pluto was last in Sagittarius. The information I've collected was from wikipedia.org. 
Okay, so in 1995, Sony enters the North American video game market with the release of the PlayStation. And in 1996, the International Monetary Fund approves a $10.2 billion loan to Russia for economic reform. And in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue defeats Garry Kasparov in the last game of the rematch. The first time a computer beats a chess world champion in a match. And in 1998, Google is founded in California by Stanford University at PhD candidates Larry Page and Sergey Brin. And in 1999, the euro currency is established and the European Central Bank assumes its full powers. And in the year 2000, a preliminary draft of genomes as part of the Human Genome Project is finished. And in 2001, we have the, uh, tragedy, the tragedy of the uh, September 11th attacks. And in 2002, the Euro is officially introduced in the Eurozone countries. And in 2003, the Iraq War occurs with the invasion of Iraq by U.S. and Allied forces. And in 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launches the Facebook, later renamed to Facebook. And in 2005, YouTube is launched. And in 2006... The Human Genome Project publishes the final chromosome sequence. And in 2007, Apple CEO Steve Jobs introduces the original iPhone in San Francisco, beginning the era of smartphones. And in 2008, stock markets around the world plunge amid growing fears of the Great Recession, fueled by the 2007 subprime mortgage crisis. So there you have it. This period laid the technological foundations for our contemporary modern world. It marked the birth of the information age and the transition from an industrial to a service economy in the Western world. Pluto and Sagittarius natives of today have the advantage of growing up with so much knowledge available at their fingertips. Combined with the convenience of mass travel, they will serve as our future teachers, sharing unique perspectives and beliefs to the rest of humanity. So, this has been my take on the Pluto in Sagittarius energy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thanks for watching. Be safe and kind to one another. And God is within you. Take care.